We just learned new details in a terrifying case that has prompted a manhunt in Kentucky. Right now, federal agents and U.S. Marshals are on the ground searching for a shooter in Laurel County. It's a chaotic scene unfolding on Interstate 75 overnight. Nine cars were shot up. Five people seriously injured. The shooter is nowhere to be found. Now authorities are hunting for a person of interest identified as 32-year-old Joseph Couch of Woodbine, Kentucky. Police are warning residents that Couch is believed to be armed and dangerous, urging nearby residents to stay on the lookout. News Nation correspondent Alicia Nieves is here live with us with more on this manhunt. I know you just talked to authorities. What are they saying? Yeah, so we just literally got off the phone with a deputy who's live on the scene where this search is happening right now. Uh, essentially, he told us this is happening in a large wooded area, the Daniel Boone National Forest. That's just south of Lexington, Kentucky. We're told this is a rugged area of the terrain. So authorities at this moment are deploying drones with infrared technology that can detect a warm body. They're hoping that that's going to help them more quickly and certainly more safely find their person of interest. They are describing that person, that person as you mentioned, that's armed and dangerous. They identify him as 32-year-old Joseph uh, Couch. We're told he's from the nearby area, Wooden, Kentucky, uh, Woodbine, Kentucky. It's about 40 miles uh, from where this search is actually happening. And we know, of course, the scene right now is one where, um, or the scene is one where at 5.30 last night in both directions of Interstate 75, it was shut down more than three hours after police discovered nine vehicles had been shot into. We talked to or heard from the mayor of, of London, Kentucky, who said, you know, everyone in the community needs to kind of lock their doors and be safe, not necessarily panic, but that sheriff deputy also telling us essentially this is a large wooded area, but they think they have the suspect confined to a or their person of interest confined to a, a particular part of of this wooded area, and those drones are going to help them more quickly kind of find their suspect. I did ask the deputy about motive, because that's the big yeah. question. Why would this person potentially have, you know, shot at the interstate, obviously her injuring several people? Um, that's something they're unaware of at the moment. They're just focused on getting the suspect, and then they'll figure out from there why someone would do something like this. And they're not saying how they know who this person of interest is. They don't want to reveal that as part of this investigation right now. Right. For them, it's too early to reveal that. And do we have any update on the victims? This is terrifying. I mean, driving down the road and you get shot at? A hundred percent. I mean, in terms of the victims, they have not released the names of the victims. We do know that five people, as you mentioned, were taken to an area hospital uh, around uh, in Laurel County. Most of them are in stable condition, but we, we were told one person was shot in the head. Mm -hmm. We know two other people right now were injured from a you know, vehicle accidents that happen, the chaos of all of this. Everyone right now expected to survive, but we're going to continue to follow the story and get more updates as it kind of comes in. The big focus right now, since every one of the victims are in stable condition, mm -hmm. is trying to find the suspect before more victims, um, before we uh, unfortunately get more victims. Right. You know, it is so terrifying. I covered the manhunt in Maine, and yeah. you're out there in the woods, and you're walking around, and every time you hear a twig break or a leaf crunch, you know, you're it, on edge. And, and we, we asked authorities if they knew how many guns this you know person of interest yeah. may have they don't know that right now they're operating essentially blind until they find them again these drones that they're they're um, you know putting up hopefully will help them find this person of interest faster this is a major story for us today yeah. we will continue to follow it i know that you're on the phone with the authorities thank you so much for that alicia nieves yes. and we will bring you more as we get it here in our newsroom thanks for watching go to joinnn.com to find news nation on your screen and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact driven unbiased coverage